Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend read from October 18th to the 20th. 18, 19, 20. Yes, 18th to the 20th. So let's see what's going on for my Aries friends out there. What's your energy like? What's going on this weekend? The Hermit, the card of Virgo, in the Lover's card. We know what's on your mind, Aries. Ooh. You're going within, and while you're going within, Aries, this weekend, you're pondering over a love situation that is currently occurring with you. It's a particular lover for whoever this is resonating with. It's a particular lover that you're interested in. And I don't feel that you were going to take this seriously at first. But now you're wondering, should you? Because you're feeling more than you thought you were going to feel for this person. However, there is another energy here. Well, there's always there's three, three people in this card right and there's always a third energy involved when the lover's card pops up in this deck this could be a friend this you know this could be another lover for some of you um, but it doesn't have to be it could be a family member like I said it is the card of Gemini and it is the number six six is about balance and this is one of the reasons I'm feeling that you're going within because it's, it was leaving you unbalanced. You, it's like you walked into it as a Knight of Wands, which is like my playboy, playgirl energy, but you came out as possibly the Knight of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling. Where you're willing to take this somewhere, you'll just take it slow. But you're thinking about this before you act on it, which is, which is good, Aries. You don't want to jump the gun and get somebody, whoever this is, all excited about Aries wanting to get serious and then only to find out that, oops, nope, that was only a passing thought, right? Okay, so let's see who's coming towards you. Who's coming towards Aries? Or who is this person? Either or. Seven of Pentacles, this person may be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it seems as if they're waiting. It's, I'm getting the feeling that they know. They know that they could feel that you felt more than what you expected to feel, Aries. So they're being patient because they feel you're worth it. So it's like, while they're waiting, they're just juggling. Okay, what if this happens? What if Aries comes back and says that they want a relationship? What am I going to do? Well, what if they don't? What am I going to do? So this is the state that they're in, trying to balance, which is funny because I'm feeling balance from this lover's card. You're doing the same thing, just differently. So it's like, this dude here could be a dudette, just masculine energy is waiting for a message from this crowd. It's, it's waiting. I don't feel they're anxious or anything. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. So how is Aries going to respond? Tell me more about this. Okay. So how you're going to respond, and it's not necessarily to their energy. It's, it's sort of a combination, is the Five of Cups the Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. This is interesting, because I'm feeling Aries, you're gonna go within, and you're gonna be like, okay, well, what if I have regrets? I don't wanna regret anything. I don't wanna miss an opportunity, right? But what if, like you're thinking of the negative a lot, then you're, then you're looking, you know, you're looking at the Three Cups, and then you're looking at the two cups. And then you're looking at the three cups. Then you're looking at the two cups. Right? And with the ten of wands, you're like, oh, 
this is a burden. This is a relationship. So with a relationship comes responsibility, right? So you're thinking, this is going to be heavy shit. Can I take this responsibility? So this is the stuff that you're mulling over in your head. But ultimately, Aries, I do decide, I do believe that you do decide to go forward with this eight of wands. This is a fast moving energy and this is passionate messages. This is passion and love and excitement and travel. You could be traveling with this person possibly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here with a little bit of water. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how your energy changes now after this going within, right? Going within, asking yourself the right questions. After your emergence from hermit mood, what is Aries energy like? After mulling this over, I just hopped over. Three of Wands. Hmm, still waiting. Wait a minute. Queen of Swords. One more. That is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. All right. You're, you come out of this hermit energy wondering, this could be what I've been waiting for all this time. What do I need to cut up? cut out of my life in order to go forward with this person and this is the queen of swords now you're bringing logic into it now that you've got fire over here and now that you've got earth you've got water now you're inserting a little bit of air and you're like okay let's be practical about this how do we go forward what do I need to cut out what kind of sacrifices do I need to make in order to make this work so let's see Huh? How does this person respond to you? Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Hanged Man. And we have the Two of Cups. Okay, it's Seven of Wands. They're a little bit leery because they're unsure. You know, they're in the same spot that you are, essentially. They've experienced the same thing right? The same, but different. And they're like, they don't know what to expect from you. So they're trying to maintain an upper hand within this relationship. So they may be a little guarded when you do approach them. They may be holding on to their feelings, waiting for you to divulge yours, Aries. This is the four of pentacles. They're holding it close to their heart. So they do go in that hangman mode. I feel it's, it's really along the same time that you're in this hermit mode, right? And the hangman is the card of Pisces and they're just hanging out sort of in limbo for a little bit, trying to see things from a different perspective, but they do want to come together with you. Two of cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy and this is soulmate twin flame energy. They do want to come together with you and I do feel that they will express this once you come forward with this Eight of Wands energy because I feel that you do express it. You may be expressing it a little bit different, uh, Wands versus Cups, you know. Okay, so how are you going to respond to this? How is Aries going to respond to this? Yeah, the Star card, card of Aquarius and Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning in truth and clarity when it comes to love. So you will gain truth and clarity when it comes to love through this person when they offer their cup to you. And you will deem this as a wish come true. And this is where your healing is, you're satisfied with the healing that you've completed in this hermit mode and the balance that you've maintained. So you will go forward with this relationship to see where it goes. So let's fast forward into the future. And let's see. Hmm. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the King of Wands. You both are putting behind you what no longer serves you. It's like over here, you figured out what you needed to cut out and you're walking away from it. Whether it be people, places, things, 
could be a mixture of all of them I'm feeling. You don't want to miss an opportunity, and this is the Four of Cups here. So you guys are going forward in this King of Wands energy. I feel this is a shared energy. Just because it's masculine doesn't mean anything. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, and this is fun. This is, this is the funnest guy in the deck. This is passion. This is fun. This is creativity. This is looking good. You're both looking really good and looking really hot. You're both very sensual and very attracted to each other. So I feel like you'll have a lot of fun in and out of the bedroom. So let's get one final card. One final card for Aries and this person. Strength. The card of Leo. There's two eights here, which could indicate a twin flame relationship. They're telling me that the relationship will, there will be challenges that do come up and you will need to dig deep and have the strength and the courage to overcome some obstacles. They're not horrible obstacles. They're just obstacles, challenges, right? Every couple faces them. They're letting you know that you both have this quality within, this Leo quality, this courageous quality within. And I feel this has to do with other people. Other people trying to meddle into your relationship, to your energy, to stop it from coming together or putting their two cents in all the time. And they're saying that you do have the courage and strength to deal with this. Step forward and stand up for your relationship. And this is also the Seven of Wands energy, standing up for your relationship. Well, Aries, you get a lot to think about, huh? A lot of inner work to do, I see. But I hope you resonated with this reading, Aries. Please drop a like below, share, subscribe, and comment if you already haven't. Let me hear your story if this is it. I want to interact with you guys. I love doing so. You have a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you soon.